Mandy, and I'm here with my sister. We're here on the sea train. Hi, <laughs> and we're going to do another rant today. Let's tell our viewers what our rant is about. Our rant is about impatient customers. You know, that one asshole at the freaking fast food place <laughs> or the restaurant who always want to rush their order like they're something special. Oh, God. Everywhere you go, there's always at least that one customer that say, Oh, you take it too long. Why my food is like this? Why my food is like that? It has to. The food takes time to cook. If you want it cooked perfectly, you have to wait. Just like if you cook it yourself, would you rush through it to have it half cooked? Exactly. So no, they're doing their job. They're trying to make it for you. They're trying to satisfy you, so you can't be rushing them. Right. Yeah, so it's like, it's like you come across them in every restaurant you go to. It don't matter where it is. Just like um, in an early incident with me, I went to McDonald's with my mom, and I was waiting for my food on the side, and then this one lady, she in the attitude because her fries are just so fast enough. I'm just like, you started with the workers who are trying to do their job, and you complaining that your fries ain't cooked fast enough. Why don't you go behind there and do it yourself? And then you'll be quick to complain that the food ain't made right if you get it fast. Exactly. You have to take time. That's what cooking is. Cooking takes time. It exactly. doesn't happen. One, two, three, there you go. Unless you put something in the damn microwave. But even that takes time. Thank you. Because so. even if you put something, if you take something out the freezer and put it in for a minute, do you think that thing is going to be hot? No. Nope. You got to wait. Mm -hmm. And the other incident was when we were in Donald's. Mm -hmm. With what's this guy named Ariel Liebman. You saw his name because it was up on the order board. <laughs> Ariel Liebman was a very impatient white man. Yes, he was. Very impatient man. <laughs> he was impatient because he was giving these people a hard time. I don't know what he was saying, but he was like, I don't know what pizza is not cold. It's not cooked. It's not cooked. It's not cooked. It's not cooked. I can remember what he said. He was like, Oh, I ordered my food online. I'm like, I ordered my food online. I'm like, yeah. That doesn't, what does that justify? <laughs> it still takes time. Like, you can't be demanding stuff from people. Yeah, sure. You know they go by that little thing saying that customers is always right. Uh, yeah, don't abuse that. Don't exactly. abuse that. Because customers ain't always right. Sometimes they'll tell you something. They get what they ordered and tell you something else. And then be quick to say, oh, I know what I ordered. Then what did you order? You then forgot, didn't you? It's so, true. If you want something done right, you shouldn't pester the workers. The workers are there to do their job. Mm -hmm. You yelling and barking at them isn't going to make them do their job any faster. Anyway. Exactly. So, yeah. You either wait, or if you can't wait, go home and cook. <laughs> Basically. But I, I'm suggesting you probably don't know how to do that since you want to complain about other people doing it. Exactly. <laughs> so stop complaining. Exactly. Complaining gets you what so far. In other words, it'll start to, it'll start confrontation. And then the thing about it too is that you start in confrontation with them and they're not allowed to do anything back. Because so you're testing yeah, them. You're testing their patience. Because they're working, they're trying to work hard to get your meal out on time, whatever. And you over there, and why is it my food? Yeah, you don't think that's taking a toll? And then the fact that they're on duty, that they can get fired if they get into a fight with you? Exactly. Even the mouth back? Like, mm -hmm. Come on, man. And then on top of that, you could cause them. them you could cause them to mistakenly burn your food too because you're putting pressure on oh, them. Oh, that should happen. I would laugh. <laughs> Not for me, I mean for them. No, I know, I know, yeah. I know. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll burn it by mistake because you're pressuring them that they're trying to move fast and for then, you. And then also you gotta remember they're human. Thank you. Human we make mistakes. People make mistakes all the time. So if they make a mistake, gently just go and say, take it back and say, hey, you forgot this, you didn't do this, whatever. Exactly. They'll take it and do it. But you yelling at them, come on. Mm -hmm. That's what an immature child is. I'm a mature adult, but go up to them and tell them what you forgot. Right. And they'll fix it. But don't be going acting like the asinine, making a scene in a restaurant because you didn't get what you wanted. Exactly. Come on now. So that's just making you look like an ass, and we're all laughing for entertainment. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right? Eyes are on you. You're gonna be the one recording to put on YouTube because you're a dumbass. <laughs> Think about that. Exactly. So basically, bottom line: stop being impatient. Just wait. Let people do their damn job. Because if you, if it was you, would you want somebody doing that to you? I'm no. sure you wouldn't. So stop being impatient. Exactly. Very much. It's very much appreciated. Cut that shit out. Exactly. Well, that's the end of our rant. Give me this piece.